So, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, if I'm going to go ahead and apply the same rules here, a times b plus a times c, right? Well, here we have a little issue because if I do that, I'm going to do this times this times that, mm -hmm. then this so, times this times that. And guess what? I've been going through math for a long time, guys, and this is where students make mistakes because there's so many multiplication problems. Look at you're multiplying six times, right? And then you're going to try to combine like terms. Students are going to make a mistake because you're not going to be able to have everything organized. So the best way I like to organize, and you guys could have done this with the last problem, but the best way I like to organize is to make a box. All right? And the way you determine the dimensions of the box is what you're multiplying by what you're multiplying. So here, I'm multiplying a binomial. That means I'm going to break up the side of the box into two. If I would have done the last problem, I only would have had one side, right? Or I would have had just one box on the side. So you have x minus 4. You write one side, the box here. Then you write the other polynomial up here. Does everybody see what I did? Okay. Now remember, when you're multiplying, if I said, what's, if I said here's a box, and I said here's 3 and here's 4, and I say what's the area, you're multiplying, right? You multiply length times width. So guys, when we multiply all these numbers, what we're really doing is finding an area right, of a box of a certain dimension. So when you do all this multiplication, that's really what you're doing is multiplying. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to find the area of each one of these boxes. So x times 2x is 2x cubed. x times 6x is 6x squared. x times negative 5 is negative 5x. 2x squared times negative 4, right? Because now here's the height and 2x is the width. There we go. And then there's positive 20. Okay? So now, the reason why I like this is now everything's contained in this box. Now the last step we want to do is make sure we can combine the terms that are the same. Remember, we can only combine if they have the same variable factors, meaning like x squareds with x squareds, x cubed with x cubes. So you notice these are both x squareds and these are both x's. So therefore, I can combine them. So my final answer is 2x cubed, negative 8x squared plus 6x squared is negative 2x squared. Is everybody following me with what I did there? Because these, both Those these the boxes have the same x squareds. Do you see in both of those boxes, they both have x squareds? Where's the cube? Yeah. There is no cube. This is the only one that's cubed. Oh. Well, no, I, that's in the answer. You just got to put everything in. The x cubed's in the answer. I'm writing them down in the answer. The ones that are together that you can combine, you combine them. This is a negative 24x minus 5x is a negative 29x. So this one combined is right there, and then plus 20. Some of them, yeah. If I mean, you, if you put it in A, B, C, like in that little white row, it all would be like that, though, right? Because that's yes. matter. Yes. As long as you have them in standard form, you'll look something like this. All I'm saying, Austin, is you don't have to do di don't matter about the diagonals. All you're noticing is that this box and this box both have x squareds, right? Right? This has an x squared and that has an x squared. So you can combine them to get your final answer. So you just do negative 8x squared plus 6x squared is a negative 2x squared. You're adding them, though, now. Because of the positive you, we multiplied to get these answers. Now we're adding these all up. This is your answer. But now you're simplifying your answer. Combine like terms. Yeah, all we're doing is like combining like terms at the end. Think about, I got an example for you. I'll show it to you. Can we do one? Sure. Austin, awesome. let me think about it this way.